We'll guide you through how to use Chrome Remote Desktop. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, go and open up Chrome like so. And what you need to do is go and search for Google Remote Desktop and come to the site remotedesktop.google.com. Now, what you need to do is make sure you're using the correct Google account in the top right. And then where it says set up remote access, go and click on this download button. This will open up the Chrome web store and you need to come over to the right and click on add to Chrome. Like so, you'll get a pop-up which you need to go and click on add extension again. Next, go to the top right and click on the puzzle piece and then click on Chrome remote desktop and you'll get taken here. Then click on that download button again and it will then go and download the Chrome remote desktop host. Go to the top right of Chrome and click on it and we can then go and install it you'll get a Windows security pop-up, which you need to agree to. You can then click accept and install if you haven't already. You can then enter a name for your computer. I'll just name it how it is. And you'll then need to go and type in a pin. After you've done that, click on start. At the moment, it says offline, but if I go and refresh the page, it should then go and say online like so. Now what we can do is come onto your phone and you'll need to open up the Play Store or the App Store like so and go to the top and click on search and you need to search for Chrome Remote Desktop, just like so, and then go and click on Install, and it'll go and start. After it's finished, click on Open, like so, and it'll then go and start up. Now, I'm already using the same Google account on this phone, so it should go and appear. If not, though, you can click on your icon in the top, and you can go and add it. And as you can see, there is my device, so let me go and click on it, like so. It'll go and say Connecting, and in a moment, it's gonna ask me for the pin. I've now entered the pin and I'll click on that arrow, just like so, and it will now start connecting. And just like that, there it is. So you can then go and rotate your device. And in the top right, we've got a few controls. I wanna make this a bit bigger, just like so. I'll then move my finger, and as you can see, there is the mouse. So what we can do is go and minimize off Chrome. So what you can do is just go and put your finger on the minimize button and click, and we've now minimized it. And now what I've done is open up the keyboard just by pressing on the keyboard icon in the bottom left so I can now go and start typing things as well. And also to get to more settings, click on the three dots and you can then go and scroll through here and go and customize it as well. 